So this question says g of x equals ax squared plus 24. For the function g defined above, a is a constant and g of 4 equals 8. What is the value of g of negative 4? So based upon what I see here, it looks like we're going to plug in some information from the question. So that's p i q. Um, obviously, we're looking for g of negative 4, so that's our actual question. And pretty much that's it, right? So we know a is a constant. Um, so we're going to utilize the function that was given to us, plug in this information from the question, see what that gives us, and then that should empower us to find <clears throat> what we're looking for. So let's start with plugging in information from the question. So first of all, what does g of 4 equal 8 actually mean? It means that when x equals 4, g of x equals 8. So I can literally go in, replace x here with 4, and replace g of x here with 8. So let's do that. So I will have 8 instead of g of x is equal to a, which I know is a constant, but I'm not sure what the value is, of 4 or times 4 squared plus 24. So that simplifies to 8 equals 16 a plus 24. I subtract 24 from both sides. I get negative 16 equals 16 a. And therefore, a is equal to negative 1. So now I know what my constant a is, which is negative 1. Now be careful because that's not what we're looking for, although I do see negative 1 here as answer choice C. And I might be tempted to think that I'm all done here. So the question wants me to figure out, well, what's g of negative 4? So that means I am trying to find g of negative 4 is equal to, well, a is negative 1, which I know. Um, x is the negative 4 that's inside the parentheses, because whatever's inside parentheses for functions is always the x value. So negative 1 times negative 4 squared plus 20. Four. So once again, I'm just replacing what I know from the original function, um, in this case being a and negative 4, in order to figure out what I'm looking for, in this case being g of negative 4. So if we continue on, g of negative 4 is equal to negative 16, right? Because negative 4 times negative 4 is positive 16. Positive 16 times negative 1 makes it negative 16. We add 24 here, and therefore g of negative 4 is equal to positive 8, and that is answer choice A.